Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I always get questions on Instagram when I put, you know, King and Rain reciting scripture and, you know, people are wondering, how do you teach your children scripture, you know? And that's what this video is all about. I've been teaching my kids scripture from when they were so little and I'll be sharing some videos as I speak. You'll be seeing some of the videos of them reciting scripture, which I think is very key. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, so before we start, I just want to give you, you know, a brief of what the Bible says about this. And that's in Deuteronomy. Uh, I think that's chapter 11. It says, teach them to your children, talking about them when you sit at home, when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Generally, teach the word of God to your children always. Yeah, these things should not be done by Sunday school or by schools alone, we need to be involved. And the first tip that I can share is knowing the scripture yourself. Yeah, because remember as parents, we can only teach what we know. And I remember from when I was young, when we used to go to school, my mom would always make us recite scripture, you know, and some of that scripture has stuck like with me, like until now. Yeah. So it's very important that your children walk with the Lord, even at a young age. So know the scripture yourself so if you don't and you know you don't know scripture you're like Muna and Gemi, i don't know scripture you can get some scripture cards and i think ruby's gift store i will tag them here ruby's gift store has some scripture memory cards for your children even for yourself so don't say ah, for me i don't know how to memorize scripture and then you let it pass you know no 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 start them um with your children yeah so don't don't let it pass you by and then your children have grown and they don't they can't even memorize any scripture because we know scripture memory is important yeah we see jesus in the bible when he was being tempted he didn't first look for his bible like oh my god what does the word of god say no he knew it off head and that's very very key as you know we are raising children that they can memorize scripture so that in those times yeah it's a sword we can use it against the devil's schemes so the first point is know your scripture as a parent yeah point number two the second way is to start early yes you have to start early sometimes we say oh but they are so young maybe at five years mm -mm. kids understand from <laughs> from even nine months yeah so I'm going to show you a video. I started rain quite early. This way, this one she was, a, I think, one year old. Let me show you the clip, and then we can proceed. Hmm? You are the light, the light of the world. A city, a city on a hill cannot, cannot be. So you see, she's trying to memorize and it's so cute. You know, she can't articulate the words well, but you can kind of capture what she's trying to say. Start them early, start them early. Those children grasp, you know, their brains are kind of empty and then they just start to kind of grasp everything that we tell them. So if you're just telling your children, you know, you know you've seen kids, very young age, they are shaking, they have bums, they, have, they know all these good dance, dance strokes. Eh? There's, some, there's where they have learned them from. So instead of those things, start to teach them scripture. You see how they can memorize songs and all those things? So that even the word of God, they can surely memorize. So don't wait until it's too late, when they're 11 years or five years, when their brains are fully empty, they can grasp those scriptures quite well. So that's my second tip for you. Start them early. So the next point is to start with the easy verses, yeah? Easy verses that they can use even like they're part of their routine, yeah? So one of the first verses we taught them was children, obey your parents. That's Ephesians 6 verse 1. And as they are learning this scripture, even as they're going about their day-to-day -day life, you're telling them, rain, king, keep your toys, put your toys away. And if they're hesitating, you remind them, children, obey your parents ephesians 6 1 so they begin to live it out in their day-to-day -day life so start with those simple short verses don't start with the whole psalms 23 
ah, ah. <laughs> you know yes they can grasp it but you want them to start with something that is easy to bite yeah easy to say on their lips and and things like that so we started with Psalms I mean with uh, Ephesians 6 1 Psalms 23 verse 1 so those are short 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 verses they can quickly grasp so yeah that's the next point that I want to share with you and again I'll keep showing videos of them reciting some of these verses and you'll be you know you'll be overwhelmed that yeah actually little children can learn so don't take that away from them by giving them the word of God later in life talk about it yeah all the time we're going to do the Bible verse challenge it starts Psalms 33 verse 1. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Mm. Wow, next one. I feel sick. I feel some sick one. Choosing obey your parents. Wow, the next one. Oh. Isaiah. Isaiah 43 verse 5. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Wow! That brings me to the next point. It needs to be repeated in your daily routines as you, you know, before you go to sleep. And that's one thing we did. So every night before we go to sleep, the kids, you know, we sing songs, we ask for prayer requests, we, you know, ask them now, let's recite a verse. So you can start with a verse once a week one verse a week or one verse in two two weeks children obey your parents and as they grow older you can begin to explain what this means some people say but they will not understand it's okay you see the word of god is sharp and penetrates so even just as it is whether understood or not it has power so you just teach them what that is and then later on as they grow like now king will begin to explain to him uh, what this obedience means and you know what Jesus wants from him and then he, he actually gets it so please repeat that every night don't give up be like but they are forgotten or they feel you feel like they are moving up and down they're not like retaining things they're not concentrating it's okay for you don't give up those guys actually grasp those things I remember one time when I was anxious where was I going I think I was going to hospital and I was, you know, telling King, oh, I'm, I'm so scared, I'm going to the hospital. I think, oh, was it going to remove my tooth? I think, something. And he told me, no, don't be scared. I was like, why? Because God is with you. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I felt like my job as a parent had ended. Yeah? So you, say, you tell them these things, you tell them these scriptures, because I think that's in Isaiah. You tell them these scriptures, do not be afraid, for I am with you. And that is, God is with you. But sometimes you're like, oh, are they getting it? But then when you go about day-to-day -day life, you realize that they have actually grasped the principle. So please, don't give up. Even when they're running up and down and you feel like they're not concentrating, it's entering, it's penetrating. And that's the beauty about the Word of God, is that it penetrates, the seed is being sown, and it will start to germinate. So play your part as a parent. Use it in everyday routine, yeah? Continuously repeat these verses to them time and time again. That's the next point that I wanted to share. Uh-huh. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Holy Lord. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come to His presence with singing. Uh-huh. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is Him that has made us, not ourselves. Another thing we do at home is using our actions. Yeah? So we use scripture in songs, in actions. So don't be there saying, do not be afraid no say do not be afraid for i am with you you know so it, it kind of captures them because you're using actions so actions and using these things in songs really help your children to grasp those scriptures so we are always you know um i'm going to show you one of the videos 
where I think it was Rain or King, I don't know, one of them, uh, we were reciting which verse was it? Um, uh, you are, it's, it's our theme scripture here, Matthew, you are the light, so you point at the light, you know, the light, because for them in their capacity right now, light is, you know, you switch on the light, you are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden, and you know, that's how they, we do it together. So you, you, you find that they grasp faster because you're using actions. And that's why kids love songs like A, B, C, D, Aurora, your boat, or whatever. Because there's a lot of action, a lot of movement. It's like you're animated. Eh? And that helps the verse to stick right out. And then again, now we begin to explain what the light means. Be the light of the earth. You know, don't hide yourself. Like do good and all those things. Trust me, it surely, surely works so use actions use songs and i'll just tag you on bible adventure there's a program called bible adventure you can find it on youtube so we download those songs it teaches the word of god bible stories and then there's always a scripture that they actually teach the children the whole episode so using song is also very key in your your journey of teaching scripture so the songs bible adventure helps and there are some nice youtube are videos eh, that help you see them using actions touching their heads you know and things like that that is going to help you to teach your children that scripture yeah you are mm -hmm. the light mm -hmm. the light the mm -hmm. light the light the light the light mm -hmm. of the world mm -hmm. I Then one of my final points is the schools that you choose. So for me, for me, it was very critical that the school that uh, King goes to has a bit of, you know, that aspect of teaching them the word of God because I know it's very important, you know, because children spend most of their time at school. They are away from you. You don't know what's happening. You don't know the kind of teachers they have. But for me, getting a Christian school was key for me because I know that in there, and the curriculum in there, they are adding scripture into it, Bible stories. So for me, it's very key. For some parents, you know, it's just books, 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 books. And that's fine. But I know that teachers parent with us. And I think I had it, from, who did I hear it from? Someone who said the two people who influence a children's life the most, the parents and the teacher, because they're the ones that they see every single day so if you as a parent are not doing your part then also the teacher is you know telling your child they are not worth it or they are failing you don't know anything guess what that's what they're going to believe so when we sit at home and i tell my children that you are good enough you are the first yeah god love do you know that jesus loves you they say yes he loves you so much you are beautiful you are fearful you're speaking life into them so when someone else comes and tells them about what mm, the seed has been planted, they know who they are, they know that they're intelligent, just because you failed a question doesn't mean you know, you're know a failure or you're stupid or all these things. So no one is going to tell them otherwise. So for me, the school that I chose for King and that all my kids will go to has to have that element of the word of God. Because these things are key, even as you grow up, I will never forget some of those verses that you know, we used to recite with my mom in the cars, we're going to school, or even, you know, uh, Sunday school. And that's one of the other points, is that you have to take your children to church. Sometimes, <laughs> when you don't go to church, kings, we're not going to church? What about church? Like, you know, what's going on? They're like, eh, hey, no, let's have maybe church on, you know, on TV and things like that. But they need to know that church is important. Of course, we know that you don't just do church on Sunday and then you abandon things but they need to see you as a parent uh, reading the word of God going to church praying all these things because remember prayer is effective when you use the word of God so if you're praying and you don't know the word of God eh, you begin mumbling and saying other things that are not aligned to the will of God so if we teach them scripture early even as they pray in the prayers you're reminding them to use scripture that there there that's where power is that's where power is so those have been some of my tips i hope you found them useful 
Um, you can follow me on Instagram to see their journey as they recite scripture and you know grow in this whole thing and even with this child that is coming soon i keep saying scripture over over her okay yeah i had forgotten that i had revealed ha, it's a girl but yeah i keep uh reciting scripture over her and things like that to just help with that journey but also at this point they are listening they are hearing so you just keep sowing those seeds into the children yeah let me know in the comment section which one you are doing at your home. What steps are you taking to help your children um, learn the word of God? Yeah, my name is Lisa Kusima and I'm here to inspire. Three, mm -hmm. six, day. Mm -hmm. For God, mm -hmm. so love the world mm -hmm. that he gets mm -hmm. his only son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right.